Hello beautiful Leos, welcome to my channel Astrolo Tarot. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic month so far. This is going to be a love reading for all of my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Leos out there. So Leos, if this reading resonates, that's awesome. But if it doesn't, it just means it wasn't the reading for you. And you can feel free to check out your Moon, Rising, or Venus signs. Also, cross watchers, this is a safe place for you guys as well. So just keep that in mind while watching. The If the roles are vice versa, that can very well be the case. Since energy is interchangeable. Okay, Leos. And also, if any other messages such as friendship, career, or family pop up to this reading, that may very well be the case. Just keep what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Okay, so your feelings towards this person. We have the Page of Cups, the Magician, and the Moon card. We also have the Devil wanting to come out at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn for some. We also have Piscean energy, Cancer, and um, Scorpio energy as well. Some of you guys could be a Pisces moon off the bat, or they, this person's a Pisces moon. Also hearing Venus Pisces. For some, there is a, um, I see that there is a, an offer coming in for you guys, Leo. Somebody is coming into your energy, I'm hearing. Somebody is wanting to offer something romantic with you. I see this could be a, a younger water sign, um, but it doesn't have to be for all. This, this somebody is coming in with a romantic offer, wanting to offer you some sort of um, relationship, maybe, or just wanting to date, getting to know each other. Let's get to know each other further, you know? This is a new beginning with the Magician card being here. We also have the Moon. For some, this could be somebody that has secret feelings for you, somebody that has had their eye on you for some time, but that hasn't quite vocalized this to you. For some, it could be you having feelings for this person as well. Maybe you guys have had secret feelings for one another, or some... Feelings have not um, reached quite reached the surface yet within this connection. I feel that you guys have all the tools um, necessary to get this connection rolling. There is something I'm hearing that might be holding you back in a way, and it could have to do with something that you've been holding in. Maybe it is hard for you, Leo, to be vulnerable. Maybe you've had difficulties in the past with vulnerability, and that's Maybe part of the reason why for some you could be holding back from this connection or maybe you've been burnt in the past from somebody or hurt from another connection from the past I'm hearing. Especially with the death card or the devil card coming out. it could You could have been dealing with toxic person from the past and so going into this connection, um, this newer connection, I do see that there um, you do have all the tools necessities to get um the connection rolling but i do feel like there maybe could be something holding you back a bit when in regards to fears and you feel maybe for some there could be obstacles but i do feel like those obstacles are coming out of the way they are getting out of the way um making move for this connection i'm hearing so that's positive energy leos okay let's do some clarification on these cards seven of wands okay yeah that's that's crazy. I just had obstacles because the seven of wands for me, this card could have to do with a bit some obstacles. So I do feel like for some, you are pushing forward. You are moving forward to things that you feel resonate with you and you are leaving behind what doesn't, whether in regards to friendships, family even. You're leaving behind. You are choosing to move forward, I'm hearing, with people that you feel have your best interest in mind. You do feel um, maybe at the beginning, I actually, you know what, I feel like these obstacles are kind of coming from within your head because of um, based off fears that you've had from past relationships. And I feel like for some, you could be bringing this into this connection, not on purpose, of course, but just because you've had a rough past, I'm hearing. But I do feel like for some, you could have manifested this, I'm hearing. Maybe you've done some manifestations. Um... But I feel like for some, a lot of you guys, like, you're excited about this love offer. You're, um, you're really intrigued by this person, whoever this is. You are intrigued by this energy, but at the same time, you're not quite ready to give yourself a completely away to this person. You're not exactly ready to open up and share everything about yourself yet because you do have a heavy past, I'm hearing, for some Leos out there. For some, you could be musicians or singers, I'm hearing. I'm also hearing part of your world. Like, maybe for some, you really enjoy that song. Or um, you could like The Little Mermaid. Could be one of your favorite movie, Disney movies. 
or you could um i'm hearing somebody had a, a little mermaid themed birthday maybe for your child even or for yourself that's interesting or maybe you're just intrigued with mermaids in general okay it's funny because this tarot deck is literally um it's the mermaid tarot deck so <laughs> okay let's get oh we have the nine of swords popping out i just used the wrong deck guys this is my clarification deck but you know i'm just gonna go with it because it was meant to be so we do have the nine of swords wanting to pop out for their energy they are coming in very fast they're coming in with a lot they want to say something to you there's some sort of truth they're wanting to come forward with for some like with the moon card also being in your energy, maybe you feel as if this person's been holding some feelings back as well. So it might, not, it might not have been on your end, but it might have been on your end as well. It could have been on both of your ends. But maybe that's why you felt the need to hold back because maybe this person hasn't exactly revealed themselves to you or revealed their feelings towards you. So you kind of were playing a little bit smooth on hearing, Leo. But I do feel like this person is coming in fast for you guys. They are wanting to share something with you. They're wanting to come forward with some sort of truth. What is this truth regarding? What is this truth regarding? Sometimes with the Nine of Swords, it can come across as a bit rushed. Like, I feel like I'm hearing slow the brakes for this person. <laughs> like, maybe you're going to tell this person to slow the brakes a bit because it's going a little fast. But this person definitely... We have the star, guys. Leo, this is, you know, we got some good readings here for you guys. Oh, my gosh. The star. You could be dealing with another. You could be dealing with. I heard another Leo, but I meant to say Aquarius. But you could be dealing with another Leo because that just wanted to come out of my, my mouth. But you could be dealing with an Aquarius for some. You feel as if this person is, uh, or this person feels as if you were a wish fulfillment to them. They feel like you were the person they've been searching for their whole life. They just feel around you. They just get nervous. And I'm hearing they don't usually get nervous around. They don't get nervous around just anyone. But around you, they get nervous. For some reason, they just, they get giddy. And they're, I'm hearing their voice shakes. They, they start blushing. And they just feel all types of ways for you. This person also likes to sing. For some, you could have met in choir or like. And some, maybe you were in a musical together or something to do with music. You, I do hear that you guys definitely talked over music. We do have the moon and the star here. Now we just need the sun. <laughs> but this is wish fulfillment. This person is definitely on the si same vibration as you, Leo. They feel very connected to you. They feel like you guys both. It's funny because you guys both have so much emotion towards one another like you feel very passionately towards one another you feel very vulnerable you want to be vulnerable with one another like you have deep emotions for each other but yet there's silence I'm hearing like crickets like I'm not I feel like you guys haven't quite vocalized this to one another yet but I do feel like whatever this truth is coming out is has to do with their feelings for you their feelings how deep they feel towards you they're wanting to express this to you that you are a wish fulfillment the full they're ready to take a chance they're just gonna I'm hearing they're going to wing it. We do have the fool coming out. The fool is a risk taker. Somebody that is, you know, going with the flow, taking a risk out of impulse, kind of. Um, doesn't really have the fool card. Like, the fool doesn't really have a lot maybe with them. But they know that they don't need a lot to be happy, I'm hearing. Like, maybe, for instance, maybe this person is not... The materialistic type of person maybe they don't feel like they don't have a lot to offer but they're going to offer you as much as they can offer maybe they for some this person might not be finance maybe they've had some financial struggles in the past or maybe they aren't financially there right now but they're getting there they're on their way there but they haven't quite reached their goals yet but they have other ways of offering like they want to show you what you deserve but in other ways like they're gonna try the best they can for you i'm hearing like maybe they don't have a lot of materialistic things to offer you but they have their heart they have their soul they have their personality and their give and their their respect and loyalty towards you they want to show you through their actions 
that they want to win you over. They want to show you what you truly deserve, Leo, which is awesome. They're just going to go out, go for it and take a chance. For some, somebody was wearing a, I hear strapless, but also like off the shoulder kind of dress or shirt when you guys met. Doesn't have to be for all. This person could have also worn purple or you wore purple. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles, and then we also have the Three of Swords. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, wrong deck. <laughs> Some sort of heartbreak took place in the recent past. Eight of Coins. Oh, wow. The Eight of Coins popped out twice, so Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Coins are the same, pretty much. That popped out twice. This person, this is somebody I think they're working on certain, they're working on a skill right now. They're working on their skill set of some sort. We literally had this card pop out twice. For some, eight could be a significant number. Somebody could have been born on the eighth or is um, the eighth of a month could be a significant day of some sort. There's some sort of skill that this person is working on and maybe in the past they felt they had some sort of failure um, three of swords and I feel like this isn't in regards to love I feel like this is more in regards to their self-confidence like maybe in the recent past they could have I don't want to say this but maybe they could have lost their job or they could have felt hopeless at one point like maybe financially hopeless or hopeless in regards to like some sort of wish or goal that they've been wanting to achieve they couldn't quite achieve it and they felt hopeless at one point but I feel like they are working on themselves. They had been in a time of self-reflection and been in a time of building oneself up, I'm hearing, and building that self-confidence up. And I feel like they're building that up just right as they meet you, Leo. This person's definitely working on themselves. I feel like they're wanting to work with you. They want to meet halfway with you. They want to tell you, like, look, um, maybe I don't have everything together right now. Like, maybe I'm not 100% here, but I will eventually be there. Because they, they are a very hardworking person, I'm hearing. They're dedicated. They're ambitious, I'm hearing. They have a lot of goals, and they're very driven. I feel like they, in their heads, they haven't completely reached this goal they're trying to reach, but they're on their way there, I'm hearing. They, I'm also hearing that this person, like, they could have told you they want a balanced relationship. They want something that you guys can meet halfway and but they want to give you more than halfway I'm hearing they don't want to give you 50% they want to give you like 120% but they're also like a bit fearful because maybe in the past somebody they could be used to people giving them like breadcrumbs or 30% and you could be used to that too Leo maybe for some like you were used to people giving you feeding you breadcrumbs as well and like feeding you 30 giving you 30 percent and you were giving a hundred percent you know and you guys kind of want the same thing so I feel like in a way you guys match each other's energy like you both want the same things you both want somebody that is about and you want both want a balanced relationship is what I'm hearing I do feel like this is an extremely beautiful connection though this is something that is definitely worth worth investing in and this person they're just going to take a chance because they feel so strongly about you they feel like Honestly, they feel as like you're worth it, Leo. You are worth it. You could be the one for them, and they don't want to miss out on this opportunity. Maybe for some, they could have recently moved towards you, or maybe you guys could have met during traveling even. Like, maybe you met, like, when you guys were on vacation, but you you just met each other, and you're like, wow, like, we need to take a chance. For some, this person could be moving closer to you, or they're taking a, a big risk in some way, I'm hearing. Maybe, like, they're they're moving closer to you or you guys could be moving in together even or they could be talking about this with you but regardless they're like they're like go it's either i'm all in or i'm all out and they're the type of person where they're going to be all in with you so they definitely want to give everything they can to you they want to give everything they got to this connection because they do definitely see you being worth it leo they definitely have these they have these such strong feelings for you but they're not going to let their heartbreaks or past failures get in the way of this connection. They want to prove to you that they're not, you know, like just like anybody else that you dated. They want to show you that they're different. And I definitely feel like, you know, there are feelings that haven't quite reached the surface yet. But I do feel like going into this week in February, there's definitely going to be some... 
feelings. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. For some, you guys could be getting into a relationship. If this is somebody you've already been with, you could even be getting engaged. Um, I'm not going to lie. For majority of you, could be getting in a relationship. Whatever this is, or even just dating, like furthering the connection and getting to a, a higher level. Maybe going from liking each other to loving each other. Or just like, you know, just whatever level it is for you. It's going to be different for every person. But definitely some sort of level, like moving up within this connection and engagement. For some, you could just... This person just feels extremely happy around you. They feel... They want to help you, and you want to help them as well. I hear that you're, you could be telling them, like, I, would, I want to be there for you. Like, I want to help you. Like, we can get through this together. Like, let's, you know, let's not give up on this. I'm hearing you two say this to one another. But they're definitely wanting to commit to you. They want to show you, like I said, what you deserve. And commit to this connection and not give up. You deserve love. You are lovable. If you, Leos, don't feel like you are lovable, this is your sign. You are lovable. You are definitely worth loving. And maybe in your past, like I said, you've had a rough past. Maybe it made you feel at times, for some, you could have felt this energy like, you know, you didn't deserve love or like, what did I do? Like, why me? Like, why did this happen to me? But just know that they just weren't the right person for you and that you deserve somebody that's going to see that from within you. And if they don't see it, then that's their loss, you know. But there are people that will see that. They'll see how amazing you are as a person and see how beautiful you are inside and out. So don't let people bring you down. Don't let people tell you otherwise, you know, that you don't deserve love. You do deserve love. And this is your sign. Seeing this card right now is your sign that you are lovable and that you do truly deserve love okay leo so that's all that i have for this week i hope that you guys enjoyed this reading if you could feel free to give it a thumbs up this or this video a thumbs up i'd greatly appreciate also you can feel free to comment down below i'm probably gonna be doing a pick a card reading this week or next week so just let me know um down in the comments down below a question that you would like to know like maybe a question you'd be interested in i'm gonna be pick one of those questions um so, or if you guys comment down below, I'll pick one of the questions that you ask. Also, you can comment down below if this resonated as well. And you can feel free to subscribe to me if you feel like you vibe with me as a tarot reader. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.